Okay guys, I think we're ready to start. So gather around and uh, I'm really happy to announce Dr. David Yang who is an Armenian born Silicon Valley serial entrepreneur. He is a PhD in AI and a member of the Mount of Angels. He's also the co-founder and also the member of the board for Abby, which is a leading AI text analytics company right now. And he's also the co-founder and creator of Quindo and Eva AI, which is an engagement platform software. So claps for everyone and David, please join us. Hello. Uh, thank you for coming. For, thank you for joining tonight. Uh, this uh, incredible place, Raman Sugar, and uh, thank you for Sergey, who is the owner, and uh, uh, and Olga, um, the co-founders of this place. This place is the, the largest ROM collection, one of the largest ROM con collection in the U.S. and the, in the world. They have kind of 300 bottles of rum. So do you enjoy tonight and uh, signature co the cocktails. I know this place. I actually made a coffee, a coffee workshop here. So uh, I see a lot of friends here. And uh, today we'd like to present uh, a result of uh, four years of research and development, which we have conducted uh, in our uh, small company, Findo which is spin-off from a larger company, uh, Abbey. And uh, today I would, uh, wanted to present you some part of uh, scientific part of our work, our unsupervised neural networks. We, uh, and uh, neural networks we have implemented to understand language. And uh, I, then I will switch to the business outcome which we have and what, how we implemented those AI technologies to understand uh, uh, the, uh, the, our co-workers and employees. Um, this, uh, the wording, the, the, the uh, message which you, you can see on the screen, reading employees minds is hard but not impossible thanks to AI, is what uh, we will talk about. A um, couple of words uh, where we came from. I started this company called Abbey um, many years ago about 20 something years ago. Now it's a, a thousand people company with uh, 14 offices in 11 countries with 50 million users with 400 patents. We are one of the leading AI companies in the world. And Findo is a small company which started four years ago as a secret lab, lab, lab inside Abbey. Uh, it's a much smaller company, it's uh, 17 people. Um, and uh, several of them are here, Victor, and Marina, Taylor. Um, so uh, Finder is uh, creating AI technologies which understand communication. Um, so this is our team. So what was our original goal? Our original goal it was to uh, understand natural language which happens uh, uh, in communication between uh, employees, between businesses. We try to extract different objects in this communication, understand what people are talking about and uh, what's the best practices. And we wanted to apply these technologies to actually to deliver more value to the businesses. We wanted to understand how to um, train uh, the, uh, the average sales person to become a superstar sales, how to become, how to engage remote people and so on. Um, we actually we started with a um, more general idea. We wanted to extract these objects and to, to uh, allow people understand the data and we created such product of Finder which is smart search assistant. But then we understood that we actually uh, the business requests more than that. They did request not just search, but they requested proactive search. They requested to deliver final business result. Uh, what kind of objects we, um, we managed to extract from business communication? Uh, it's uh, positive negative sentiments, uh, interpersonal conflicts, tasks, requests, questions, including 
understanding the scope of the task, the recipient, who are, the, are those people who should do the, the task, due date, when it should be done, importance, whether it's done or not. Uh, we understand agendas, uh, meeting recaps, praise, and contact information, titles. We, that uh, AI brain uh, learns and reads uh, uh, communication messages and can extract this data. Um, so how do we do that? For example, with task extraction, we uh, system should understand, for example, someone writes a, an email, uh, hey, uh, uh, hey Gary and uh, hey Gary, please send uh, the presentation uh, by tomorrow. It's very important. Uh, and then it continues, Marina, no, please take this presentation and print it out. So system should understand the scope that who, what should be done by Gary, what should be done by Marina, when, and uh, if the communication continues, system should understand whether it's done or not. Um, with it's, uh, we explain, we uh, uh, implement different approaches to, under, to do that. We imp implement both NLP techniques, understanding the uh, uh, p parsing uh, the language, but also we are using the deep learning to trans uh, to when we have enough data set extracted by uh, uh, by NLP engine, we actually now can Im uh, implement uh, uh, machine learning techniques to uh, allow uh, to get more um, reliable data and uh, also to transfer this information to other languages. We managed to. Uh, we, I will come back to this, um, uh, to this slide. We managed actually to transfer knowledge from one language to another. Uh, we trained the system on, in, on English on, on, uh, material and uh, to training, we, we taught the system to extract those data, but automatically we then transferred this knowledge to Japanese, Chinese, Russian, uh, Spanish, German, French, and uh, it happened without the knowledge of uh, the language. Today's uh, uh, format of uh, cocktail party doesn't allow me to go deeper than that, but I will uh, just uh, a little bit outline uh, what we did in order maybe to continue the discussion um, further when I will finish my uh, today's uh, speech. We also have implemented um, other approaches to uh, detect uh, more complex data. For example, conflict. Uh, sentiment analysis is more uh, uh, is is the area where um, a lot of uh, uh, successful projects um, have been done already, but. Uh, when when you have that goal to detect conflict, it's, it becomes different. For example, the message uh, uh, email might be on average positive. For example, uh, it may start with mm, uh, "Hello, um, uh, um, uh, hi, uh, uh, this and this uh, person. We have been working with you guys for many years successfully." finished, uh, uh, completed several projects, but this time your production has a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, faults and we will, uh, it will affect our business negatively, um, we will lose our clients, so please um, uh, fix this data and uh, fix uh, this product and uh, we, we are looking for successful uh, uh, successfully finishing this project. So on average, you will see uh, positive sentiments in this letter, but, uh, uh, but our system will recognize several, uh, several um, facts. First, that it, this email spoke, uh, uh, was uh, uh, describing some agreement which, uh, which uh, you know, was uh, 
not delivered. Second, it uh, says about um, continuous or uh, multiple mentions of uh, that problem. And third, it says that about, uh, um, about um, having a fi uh, financial or time um, uh, 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 problems in the future. So having different, uh, different facts together, system makes, um, uh, makes decision that this, uh, this email speaks about some problems which may come in the future. Or it's a start or, or, of a conflict, interpersonal conflict, which, will, uh, which may arise. So um, I uh, will skip um, some slides. I know I want to finish my presentation faster. So uh, we implemented, uh, uh, we, have, uh, we were able to detect different types of data. And now we um, present, we collected all them together uh, to solve problem which we learned from uh, the businesses while we were working on it. And the problem is actually very simple. The problem is this. Uh, according, to, um, according to quantum workplace, the engagement of employees is the lowest level, uh, is at the lowest level in the last eight years. According to Gallup, only one third of employees are engaged. And um, the, uh, the reason why uh, today our uh, low engagement, uh, the employees are low, uh, have low engagement because the business is moving very fast. And uh, business has a lot of a, a, a lot of remote employees and uh, managers have to uh, have to travel all the time uh, but according to hey group uh, their research shows that uh, teams which have uh, which be considered to be high engaged uh, deliver 2.5 uh, better uh, financial results so what would be the solution in this case? We we understood that we can apply our ability to understand communication to solve this problem. We can apply our technologies to understand who are those people in the team who are uh, not engaged anymore, who burned out, who is uh, who needs to change uh, their project, who needs to be praised. Uh, be, uh, and um, uh, because of the successful work. So we have created product which we are going to introduce to the market this, in September this year officially and we will have pre-launch this May, um, in the middle of this May, uh, which called EVA. EVA is, a, uh, is an AI box which you can connect to your corporate communication uh, sources. Uh, we will support almost all possible communication sources in the company, including uh, G Suite, Office 365, Salesforce, Slack, uh, Workplace, Jira, um, GitHub, and many others. And we also uh, created part of the system which collects feedback from uh, the users, uh, from employees. No, a system asks questions, one, two minute short questions uh, to each employee uh, every, every week. And all of this data uh, goes to this EVA AI brain, analyzed, and uh, comes out as a recommendations, and warnings, and dashboards for each employee and each, uh, each manager. Um, we divided all uh, features uh, into three uh, separate uh, parts. Uh, one part we called EVHR, which, uh, we, which uh, is aimed to increase uh, engagement and retain talents. Um, EVHR now uh, can predict employee resignations. Uh, and uh, can understand who is important, who is not. Imagine you had a system which will send you 
uh, Wednesday morning uh, message uh, uh, telling that uh, uh, Peter Jones is uh, uh, the probability of resignation of Peter Jones uh, increased uh, to 55 percent in two months. And importance of this person is nine out of ten. It's very important to know early enough uh, that your important employee uh, is uh, actually now thinking about resignation. Actually, system can predict uh, resignation even before the person has decided to resign. <laughs> so, uh, how how it works? Uh, when someone um, decided to resign or has uh, or uh, changed their uh, engagement uh, and passion, their communication pattern is changing. Uh, maybe this person starts to um, uh, send the first uh, answer emails later in the morning. Maybe they, uh, they start, um, uh, they finish answering emails earlier in the night. Maybe they send uh, less sentiments less uh, proactive uh, uh, suggestions, maybe they answer you know, to emails uh, slower. It's invisible to human, but if you uh, apply this data, if you uh, show to the neural network uh, communication of such of people who historically resigned, and a uh, uh, system may be trained to detect that uh, invisible for human little changes and can now predict such uh, uh, changes in in the behavior uh, of our current employees who are working now. Um, having ability to ask people questions allows system actually to understand who is important who is not. And combining this uh, uh, two features together actually gives to, to the business incredible tool to uh, keep their key co-workers and uh, save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, conflicts. Again, I already uh, described a little bit how system uh, detects uh, conflicts in, in early stages. So when you don't have a lot of negative sentiments yet, but a system understands that uh, your uh, your employees are discussing some breach of agreement and it may lead to some negative outcomes. And more importantly, if it happens, when this uh, communication you know, is going with, uh, uh, is take, uh, takes place with your customers, with your clients, uh, it happens all the time when uh, managers understand that uh, for already for a month or two months, there is a negative communication happens with some account manager and some client, and client actually, uh, uh, client, uh, you, you could lose, you, you uh, company lo loses clients. The next uh, segment is Evo Sales. Those, the same AI technologies may be applied to, to understand the little uh, differences, uh, similarities between, between top performers and the rest of the team. Uh, why every every company uh, has? Please raise your hands. Who has uh, salespeople in your companies? I mean, obviously, all every company basically has uh, uh, x amount of salespeople or business development people. But uh, we, when we run our business, we always want to understand what differentiates the best performers from the rest of the team. Some, uh, quali uh, some skills you can't copy. You can't, uh, you can't change charisma, of, uh, you can do something of uh, some, some qualities you can't change. But a lot of things you can, you, you, you can do that. Uh, you should understand what's the, what's the uh, difference. Uh, so you show to the system the best performers and neural network learns what uh, unifies them, what uh, simulator, uh, similarities do they have, and what's the difference from the rest of the team. It might be very simple, something very simple, that best performers 
are answering uh, uh, e emails to new clients in 90 minutes on average. And the rest of the team is answering in 36 hours. Maybe it's, maybe it's more complicated co uh, correlation, like uh, the second, uh, uh, second follow-up after first meeting goes in two days and the rest of the team doesn't do any, any follow-up. So understanding those, um, uh, uh, those similarities and delivering coaching recommendations to the rest of the team allows to increase sales up to 15%. Um, Eva Executive, this, uh, this uh, set of features uh, talk about alignment of the company, of the employees to the same goals. And uh, so uh, system automatically can understand what actually people do. Uh, it reveals the team's factual time allocation. This, uh, what you see on the screen, it's uh, our patented uh, unsupervised clusterization technology, which allows to uh, you know, look at the all hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of communication uh, between employees and understand what are the clusters of projects they are involved in and how much time approximately they spend to each project. And system actually even names those projects. They put a little you know, little taglines to each project, um, again, in, in Japanese, in uh, English, in Spanish. We don't know the language, but the, this is the beauty of these new technologies which can actually extract this knowledge with, uh, uh, some, uh, uh, by themselves. Um, so those are probably the major features we, which we came up. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, uh, the problem of co confidentiality. Uh, when we started to present this technology to companies, many uh, you know, employees and managers uh, started asking questions, is it, is it a big brother which uh, now look at all, uh, all emails and, uh, and we're saying, no, it's a, Eva is, a, is not a human, Eva, Eva is an AI. So no human can access to content of data, content of communication through Eva. I mean, obviously managers have legal right and technical ability to access to employees' uh, emails, but not through Eva. Uh, and everything which Eva extracts, uh, people, uh, employees actually receive uh, by themselves. So Eva is completely transparent all information about re resignation probability, about, uh, about uh, uh, conflicts. Actually, the employees will, will receive and they will see and, and they will be able to uh, change, uh, uh, affect that. And this is the reason. Uh, the re the uh, idea behind e uh, EVA is actually to deliver autopilot system which will work with employees uh, uh, without involving HR, without involving other um, uh, people. Um, also very important that everything is, uh, is being deployed on premise, I mean um, self-hosted mode, so our company doesn't have access to any of those data. Uh, only system administrators of the company can run those ser servers and can get uh, and, uh, and install EVA. So we don't, um, and nobody has access to those data. Um, and it's very fast. Uh, its uh, deployment is actually about two hours. In two hours, a system starts uh, crawling data, and in one, two, three days, you will see first dashboards and uh, first results. Actually, uh, we originally thought that when uh, we will we are creating system to, uh, uh, for companies larger than 50 people, 50 people, 500 people, 5,000 people. But our company, um, find uh, also obviously uh, started using the system because of even uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the testing purposes. We are 17, but we couldn't realize how much data actually we received. 
which we never knew before. We thought that we are sitting very close to each other, we know each other, uh, and kind of this product is great, but not for us. But what happened, we found immediately two people who are system revealed that they're not uh, engaged enough. And we had some kind of, uh, sus uh, we were suspicious about it. We, yeah, we had some kind of ideas that maybe, but now we have data and we know exactly uh, the numbers of engagement. Uh, and uh, those two, our uh, people actually were very un unhappy. Uh, they argued that the system doesn't work. It's completely bullshit. Uh, it's, uh, but actually, after the, that first introduction of this data, uh, other people came to me and said, David, it, as, uh, actually, it's, it's right. I mean, they are not engaged. And uh, we then, uh, it, what happened later, one of those people actually started, completely changed his beha behavior. Uh, he, he, uh, he actually started answering on, uh, in, in light, uh, late in night, uh, sometimes on weekends, we need it because we have uh, remote uh, teams. We, one, some part of the, our team look, is located in Menlo Park in Silicon Valley and the other part is uh, in Moscow. And if someone asks question, technical question, uh, say uh, Friday night and the person uh, didn't answer, the other team can actually waste one day because they, they cannot, they don't have answer or the system, for example, just uh, a, it was some fault during deployment and uh, the other part of the team actually can, um, uh, uh, it will be very ineffective one it's a whole day. So and we, we are surprised that actually it's not just analytic system, it not only gets uh, uh, kind of Google analytics for a company. We compare the system with Google Analytics for a company. Uh, we compare the system with uh, the dashboard of uh, aircraft uh, Boeing 787, which, uh, which flies over uh, Atlantic Ocean. I mean, current, uh, today's businesses are so, they are not small, uh, planes anymore. They are more uh, like Boeings, and, but they don't have this dashboard. You fly your aircraft without having any, any clue about what the altitude you're flying, what the direction, what the speed. This is how we manage our companies today. Uh, we have no um, data-driven decisions on, on our now our main asset our, uh, on our employees. We make our decisions uh, just intuitively. I really, uh, now I'm doing that all 28 years while I'm in business. I have to do decisions every day about people around me and I'm doing that intuitively. I, I really tired and maybe I have some experience but uh, do I, I'm, am I, am I, um, confident that my managers behind me have the same experience and they make they are making their decisions also kind of uh, uh, right so we believe that we are building this kind of uh, me second medical opinion Google Analytics for I mean find analytics for uh, uh, our employee management and uh, this is a time when this new technologies in AI meet our new business uh, needs. So I, um, I'm happy to uh, today to this, uh, deliver this information to you for discussion. It's very controversial because I know that uh, some, sometimes people are uh, thinking that uh, analytics across the company is not right. We still should do intuitive decisions. We shouldn't measure, but some people vice versa says that no, 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 it's an era of, uh, of digital and informed decision, uh, decisions. So uh, I'm happy to be there uh, here and it's almost the first uh, official kind of 
pre and pre uh, preliminary information the product is not ready yet it will be officially uh, presented as I said in September this year we are just starting in May in uh, May 18th we're starting early access program and so if someone uh, uh, of you is running or working with a company of uh, I don't know 20, uh, 20 people and more or 100 people or 200 people uh, you're welcome to talk to me and maybe we will agree that you will have uh, this uh, uh, early access uh, to the system. Um, probably that's uh, almost that and before I will finish and I would like to open discussion uh, uh, I would like to show you 90 second video. In this, in okay. Tim? Uh, no, no, no. One, two, three. Imagine you have the ability to re engage all your remote employees. Imagine you automatically convert your middle of the road salespeople to sales superstars. Imagine you have the power to predict the future of your business. EVA has created these AI technologies called EVA HR, EVA Sales, and EVA Executive. EVA is an AI brain that analyzes corporate communication in Microsoft Office 365, G Suite, Slack, Salesforce, and 30 plus other corporate sources and automatically generates recommendations and warnings for all employees and managers, allowing them to sell more and achieve more. EVA HR reduces expenses by improving employee retention, employee satisfaction, and improving remote employees' engagement. EVA Sales can increase sales up to 15% automatically coaching salespeople to become sales superstars. EVA Executive aligns all employees with the company's goals. With weekly employee status updates on their objectives and key results, it ensures everyone's going in the same direction with clear priorities and a constant rhythm. EVA installations quick and easy. All data resides on your corporate secure service. After installation, EVA doesn't need any human supervision and works in an autopilot mode. Connect EVA HR, EVA Sales, or EVA Executive today and get your new corporate superpower. Your digital transformation starts now. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, uh, let's. Uh, I need your feedback, and I'm here, so let's discuss. What? I.